Hello everyone, Galactic Storm here. Welcome to the show, and today we're going to be reviewing the Chini. It's a tier 2 Japanese medium tank. Uh, this tank was made by Osaka Artillery Arsenal to replace the Type 2589, but was competing with the Chiha at the time. The trials were in 1937, but the Chiha was more successful and only one prototype of this thing was made. So this thing pretty much was a going to be going for the job interview, but it really didn't get the job. And not to mention, uh, there was some documents that said that this thing was more expensive to, than the Chi Ha. So that was probably one of the biggest reasons why. And there's the Chi Ha. There's the Chi Ni right down here. It has 190 hit points, 120 horsepower, 30 kilometers per hour. Reverse speed, pretty good, 44 degrees per second. Uh, the hull on this thing, 25, 12, 10. Turret on this thing is decent, somewhat, uh, 30, 20, 20. Uh, the standard shell damage, horrible, 6, 10. The penetration on this thing is horrible, 17, 29. Rate of fire, 128, which is pretty good. It's an auto cannon, pretty much. Uh, it's reverse, traverse, turret reverse, 32 degrees. Uh, View range and signal range are the same, 300 meters. So, with this thing, I, I did a recent uh, gameplay on this thing before, and there's the 13 millimeter guns that you'll get. I did a good gameplay on this thing, and this is the gun I've been using so far, the 37 millimeter, and uh, it does have good. Uh, it doesn't have that good penetration, but it has low damage onto it too. But then again, this is tier two. Uh, everyone would recommend the 5.7 millimeter that was shown there, and it goes to its successor, the Type 97 Chi Ha. And uh, well, I switch from here. Uh, I really didn't pay too much attention to the 5.7 millimeter, but I will right now uh, from it. Uh, the uh, pros on this thing. Let's go with the pros and cons. Uh, the pros on this thing: it has excellent gun depression. The turret is a small profile and has decent armor on the turret. Uh, this thing has, has good damage with a 5.7 millimeter. Uh, it has very, very sloped armor that can bounce some shots at a long range. So there's some good things about it. Cons on this thing, it has inaccurate guns, bad mobility, below average armor, and it has poor penetration with all these guns, which is the biggest con out of all of them. So this tank, it's not really good for like front edge lines or the front lines more like backed up tanks and I have gameplay for this thing and I hope you guys enjoy. Malinovka. Uh This is one of the usual maps that I am good with because it's one of those early stage maps that we had for the Xbox 360. Uh, for the for this version I mean. I mean it's one of the original maps on the, three, uh, on the PC version uh, it's more of the uh, same on this one. I think it was like the fourth map that I was in. And here we go. It's a tier two battle. Oh, there we go. Tier full tier two, and all it has on its sides are Chinis and Hagos. This was based. This gameplay was based on what was it? The second uh, or this? It was on the same day when the Japanese was uploaded, and that we could play with them now. And I hope this thing doesn't, well, not to be off topic, two things pissed me off. Number one, this PC. Uh, I just, did, well, we recorded it twice, and the third time I hope it's a charm, but they, it just didn't upload, or it would just cancel with midterm and say an error, error has occurred, blah, blah, blah. So I hope uh, I, I had it on the half power on my PC, so I have it now on full power, and I hopefully... Um, it won't be the uh, er, it won't do the same thing. I hope. Otherwise, I'll be cutting my scripts here. Uh, the second one is after 1.9 came out. Uh, there is loading screens that that are. I mean, I, I really didn't care about 1.9. It was just uh, like map variant changes and muzzle flashes and all that. But what really pissed me off was. Every time I go into the loading screen, it takes me two to three minutes just to load up, and then right when I get into it, pretty much everyone's spread out, and pretty much it's just uh, I had to catch up, and it'd be like it, the 
game would already start like a few minutes ahead of time and it pisses me off uh, hopefully I'll get more gameplay that is more suitable once uh, Wargaming pretty much fixes it because it hasn't done the, to me since and you would all understand this because I've literally played it onto the uh, game here or uh, loaded it up onto the same time that I'm onto the loading screen and yeah and I just screwed up a T7 combat car there but uh with the usual uh, tanks on here it's mostly Hagos and uh, uh, Shinis uh, Hagos are the tier 2 light tanks for the Japanese and the rest of them are just Panzer 2's T7 combat car which got his ass raped uh, the cruiser and the T-18 usual suspects for the uh, for tier 2 especially the T-18 you know how strong that thing is anywho uh, we're gonna be going down further this map here and we're gonna be going down here at, at this other side of the map it's not really well defended there's only like a few tanks scouring around like left to light right and that and I I think this is like the, or this is like the enemy's downfall from here because, well, it, they just didn't have this side protected well enough. There's a Shinu right here. I'm trying to go after this thing, but the accuracy of this gun, I'm not using the 57 millimeter I'm, or centimeter. It's the 37 centimeter I'm using, and uh, this thing doesn't have really good penetration or damage, but it is really good against, or it's decently good against tier twos, just not against the uh, armored uh, tier 2's and as we go here we're getting near the enemy base here and there we go there's an idle the T28 and there we go uh, sorry about that my iPod just went blah with a free message and it's like holy crap but I uh, bounce uh, off the T28 and I just uh, it just exploded. I ran into it. I just took the full kill onto it. And there we go. Well, why do I say there? There we go. We're just heading into the enemy base right now. It's poorly defended. Now the rest of the team is just trying to cap. It's a close game, though. It's 7 to 5. There's the Hago right there. I'm trying to go after it, but the accuracy on this gun is not really good. In fact, all the guns on the Japanese on this sub. Uh, the lower branches are not really good I think because all they are is just like the same there's like 0.37 or higher accuracy and I still kill I still killed that uh, that Hago right there which I took into cover and my real opponent would be right about here I tried to go up and there's another Hago I tried to shoot after it but uh, I got spotted moved the tree there Stupid and try to go after the Hago, but it got McGang banged real easily. And there's another uh, Chini or Shiri. Shini, that's what it is. Shini. I always get those names screwed up. It's either Shi or Chi. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's Chi. But I took my shot. I got a shot from the uh, teach or the uh, Shini right there. And I tried to move further down. It shoots up above me, and I try to shoot, try to go after it, try to chase after it. But it too is getting shot by some of the other tanks that are up there, and it just got damaged. I try to move up here, and there we go. And I got close to it. There's the Shiny right there. Try to shoot at, try to shoot at the top right there. Get some nice damage. It took a nice shot at me. We're just pretty much staring at each other and just shooting, and I just finish it off at the top of the turret. And there we go. The rest of the team is just trying to go after the uh, our opposite side of the base, and it's already too late. There's already three people going into the base right there. Oh, well, it's already capping the base. There's only five seconds now to three. I tried to go charging after them, but too late. Uh, we already won by base capture. So three kills, and I don't think I did a, a lot of damage. I think I did like I don't know, like 200 something like that. There we go. I got almost 8,000 silver, a sharpshooter badge or medal, and the mastery badge class 2, and almost 950 experience. And there we go. Blew up the T28, which was idling. Uh, the Hago, it was blah. And 
Oh yeah, yeah. Well, my iPod's going there. And the Sheenie, I just partially destroyed. And there we go. I did about almost 300 damage. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Three kills and 513 damage on the hot go on top, which was pretty good. I did the third best on my team. And yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, and the T18 did about 400 damage on their team. No surprise there. The Chini Tier 2 Medium Tank. Uh, what do I think about it? Well, this tank, well, I think it's an okay tank. It's not as bad compared to the, uh, what was it, the Renault Atsu. But it's something uh, that you'll get uh, better to, I would say. Something that you'll get used to, especially at the long ranges or at the flanks. Uh, what I think about this tank, I'm going to give it a... Ta-da! A 7.5 out of 10. This is truly a solid support tank because of the inaccurate and poor penetration on the guns. It can be sneaky, however, with the hills and ridges due to the gun depression on it, which is really good. Uh, I recommend the 57mm, and I do hope uh, that you stay like in long ranges, so the armor on this uh, the tank would help you, because it will give you bounces and that, just not in short ranges. Uh, but do stay out of the fire and support on the flanks with your allies. So yeah, it's not as bad, but it can be better. But it's gonna get it's gonna get better with the other tanks. Uh, vote, rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Galactic Storm here, and I'm saying, keep charging, beaches.